If you put your mind to doing whatever you want to do, you know, good things can happen. But sports is a, is, is, is a tool that teaches, you know, and it teaches you bad things. It can also teach you good things. It's how you perceive those things. I've looked at every experience that I've had, negative and positive, and, and taken that as a positive. You know, if I wouldn't change anything because I think it would alter some of the other things that happened. You know, so when I look back, I can't say that I've had any bad things happen. Sure, I mean, you don't want bad things to happen, but you deal with bad things. You can't have good or man, without bad. I just played the sport because I loved it. And because of the, de uh, of the work that I put into it, next thing you know, success was kind of bestowed upon me without me actually chasing it. It just happened. I didn't think I would ever be this successful. I've always believed that I'm a good enough man to accept the good. I'm a better man to accept the bad. And I believe that. Is, is far greater than anyone else that I've met. You know, I think that I thrive on that. I think that's my biggest motivation in life, you know, is to 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 compete, you know, find different competitions and certain things in life and, and, and try to overcome that, you know, be it positive or negative. But uh, I have yet to meet someone who is as competitive as me, you know, and I just feel that much confident about my competitive drive. Thank you for your support. Now I can go home and feel at peace with the game of basketball. From the moment he set foot on an NBA court, Michael Jordan dominated his sport like few athletes ever had. He electrified crowds with his skill and style. He turned the Chicago Bulls into a dynasty with six championships in eight years. And in 15 seasons with the Bulls and Wizards, he would transcend the game of basketball, becoming one of the most recognizable athletes in the world. Not bad for a player who was once cut from his high school team. But that didn't stop Michael. In fact, nothing ever did. And after soaring to the top of the NBA, there was never a doubt that Air Jordan would one day land in the Basketball Hall of Fame. He just said this is game. He said, he, to he said it's easy though. He said it's game and it's easy. Oh. Oh.